Hello, welcome to our new uh, instructional video on how to play Mahjong. This video is going to touch on uh, the topic of how to get a quick start when you're playing Mahjong. And I'm going to go through a few kind of uh, simple thought processes and examples of what you should think about, what you should look for, how can you, uh, you know, get started quickly with, from that first move that you make playing Mahjong to uh, to start making matches and opening up the game uh, as, as soon as possible. Mahjong is a, a game of momentum. Uh, you know, every every pair of tiles that you match tells you something new, uh, ideally, about the rest of the tiles. Like, hopefully, uh, especially early on in the game of Mahjong, you, you know, every single pair of tiles that you match is going to open up some additional tiles to be matched. And so, uh, you know, ideally, every move you make in Mahjong is bringing you closer to your next successful move, which is bringing you closer to solving the, the game. And, uh, you know, one of the ways to, to have a good foundation in place, uh, you know, for success playing Mahjong is to get a fast start, basically. Like, just knowing how to approach the game from that very first move, from looking at the stack of tiles for the first time, uh, you know, if you have the right approach and you have the right strategy and you know which direction you want to go in, um, you know, this can really... Uh, this can really get you in, in a good position to be able to keep matching tiles and keep building momentum, keep working toward the end of the game. So in this uh, in this Mahjong game right here from Mahjong.com, we have a stack of Mahjong tiles. And uh, there are a few things to think about when you first look at this stack. Um, one of the first things I think about is, what do I have in my very top row of tiles? These four little tiles right here. Uh, and what do I have uh, uh, on the on the edges of the of the stack, like the extreme edges of the stack? In general, you want to start at the top and sides and work your way in. Um, and so, so basically, uh, if if we looked at this top row of four tiles, we have a three character tile, a sparrow tile, a two uh, circle tile and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven circle tile. And um, one of the things that you should do, you know, in this case that I'm going to do to hopefully get a fast start with the game is I'm going to look at, you know, can I match any of these top four tiles quickly? And I'm going to just look around and see if we have any available three character tiles. Uh, in fact, we do. We have one right here. So I could match this one and this one right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to look around for a two circle tile and I see one over here. It's currently covered up by this sparrow tile which I'm also looking to match. See? So technically I could match this sparrow tile with that sparrow tile and that would open up this two circle tile which I could match from the top. And then I'm also looking for a seven circle tile and lo and behold we have one here we have one here so there are a couple of possibilities to match that one and then we have another uh, seven circle tile up here in this top uh, or the second row from the top but um, so basically so that's good news that's good news because it's often to your advantage to match that top row of tiles first and get them off the board because they are going to open up four more tiles beneath uh, and, and you can work through the stack from the top down. Um, and, you know, fortunately, we very quickly have the ability to get rid of this entire top top row of tiles from the top of the stack. Um, now, a word of caution, before we start actually making matches, we need to think about, um, you know, which, which matches do we want to make? Because we have a few options. Uh, with this Sparrow tile, there's another sparrow tile right here that we could match. There's another sparrow tile right here in the upper right that we could match. Uh, however, those matches wouldn't do what we want to do with this first move because we want to get 
a matching partner for this two circle tile to open up. In order to do that, we're gonna have to match this sparrow tile in the lower right corner. Uh, similarly, for this seven circle tile, we have a couple of immediate options where we could match this one or this one. However, I think it's probably best if we match the topmost tile first, because that's just the general the general you know rule with mahjong or the general rule of thumb is you want to start from the top of the stack and work your way down. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and match the three character tiles right there. I'm going to match the sparrow and sparrow, two circle and two circle. And I'm going to go ahead and match this seven circle tile with that seven circle tile. And now all of a sudden, we've gotten rid of our top row of the stack, and we're down into the second row from the top. And we can start to think about what are the next moves that are available, and what does what does that mean for the game? Um, let's look again to the the top row. Uh, this is a four character tile right here. If I'm not mistaken, I should probably should probably. Uh, brush up on my Chinese characters, but I believe that's the number four in Chinese. Uh, so it's a four character tile, which we could potentially match with this tile in the upper left. Um, the other thing to think about is, as far as you know, getting a quick start in the game is you want to try to think one or two steps ahead. You want to think about if I match a certain pair of tiles what is the next tile that's going to be opened up, and can I match that one? You know, obviously, uh, you know, uh, ideally, you want to keep building on your momentum, and you want to create, uh, you know, a chain of matches that you can, you can work through. So, if I match this four character tile with this four character tile in the in the upper left here, that would open up a two character tile. But I don't currently have anything to match that one with unless I matched this direction tile right here with its with one of its matching partners here or here or here. So um, that opens up another question of if I match these direction tiles, can I match more than one pair at a time? Usually, if you have four tiles that are the same, that are all available to be matched at once, usually it's a good idea to just go ahead and match all four, you know, match both pairs, and remove them from the from the board. Um, it's generally considered a safe move to do that. Like you're not going to, uh, you know, paint yourself into a corner by not having a matching partner for some tile down the line if you match an even number of pairs at the same time. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and match that four character in that one. I'm going to go ahead and match this directional tile with this one. And I'm going to, let's look back to this uh, top row once again. Um, there are a few directional tiles that need to be matched. There's a one character tile that needs to be matched. And let's see. This tile right here that's I just clicked on, it's got a matching partner right here or also right here. So there are two possibilities. If we match this one, that's going to open up this two character tile. I'm sorry, that's, that's actually number eight. I'm sorry, that's, this is number eight. You know, there are just two little lines. It, it's actually the number eight. And this two, or sorry, this eight character tile 
is currently covered up could be matched with this eight character tile in the lower left. And that would also help open up this one character tile which could be matched with this one in the upper right. So let's pursue that. Let's match this one and this one, this one and this one, that one and that one. And you can see that we just had a little burst of momentum when we made three quick matches in a row. And then that opens up this eight circle tile, which previously was covered up, and we could match with this eight circle tile over here. And that seems like a pretty good move because I'm not seeing any other eight circle tiles right now other than these two. So it seems like that's a pretty safe move. We can get rid of those two from the board. And at this point, again, I'm still looking to the top, the top most layer of the stack. Um, there's a couple possibilities with a directional tile right here, or here, or here, and here. Or we could get rid of this um, chrysanthemum tile pair right here. Um, so I'm just kind of thinking through the possibilities right now. Then there's this four bamboo tile, this three bamboo tile. Let me go ahead and get rid of those. Um, the four bamboo tile has a match over here, which would open up this seven bamboo tile, which could be matched with this seven bamboo tile right here. So, I'm just trying to decide what's the best move to make from this top layer of the stack. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Let's see. Another thing to think about is, um, I just noticed this uh, one, two, three, four, this eight bamboo tile. You see, it looks like a W on top of an M. This eight bamboo tile has a matching partner, uh, which is currently covered up by this uh, directional tile. and you can see that there's a match for that directional tile right here. So I think I'm going to match those two. Match those two. And I would like to uncover that seven bamboo piece. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Let's let's go ahead and match this. Let's match this four bamboo with this four bamboo. And then let's match this swa uh, sparrow with this sparrow on the upper left. And that opens up another four bamboo that we can match right here. There's a chrysanthemum tile that we can match with this chrysanthemum. Um, and things are starting to open up a little bit more. You can see we're making progress. We're getting down uh, to the last few matchable tiles in the top uh, top layer. Here's a chrysanthemum, uh, sorry, not chrysanthemum, a sparrow. Um, needs to be matched. There are a few possibilities. I could match with that one that sparrow to open up the six bamboo, or we can match this sparrow to open up that six bamboo. Uh, and then there's another sparrow right here behind this east directional tile. So why don't we go ahead and match that one and that one, that one and that one, that one and that one. Now what do we have? We have a three character tile. Uh, an eight character tile it could be matched pretty quickly. We have an east directional tile. We have here. I'm going to match that eight with that eight. 
this two with this two, this eight with that eight, this uh, blue square, uh, sorry, blue rectangle tile with that one. bullseye tile with the bullseye and now this three character can be matched with that three and you can see we're kind of making some more progress I'm just gonna kind of reevaluate really quickly think through what are our next possible moves that we can make from this spot um, I see a seven bamboo tile that could be matched with this one That would open up another east directional tile. Although we've also got this east directional tile here that's ready to match. I'm going to go ahead and match that one with that one. This opens up, um, I can't remember which number this is. This might be seven. I think that's a seven character tile. Get rid of those two. Um, I want to match some of these seven bamboo tiles, um, but there's only three of them here. And I see that there's a fourth over here, but it's covered up by this. Sorry, not seven bamboo, seven circles, seven circle tiles. There's another seven circle tile right here, but it's currently covered up by a seven bamboo. And there's a matching seven bamboo piece right here. So let's do that. Let's open that up. So we just made two more matches. And by making that move, we opened up this red dragon tile, um, which because it's the only one of its kind currently that's visible on the board, I'm kind of concerned that we should try to find its partner. Um, it's uh, this red dragon. Its partner is currently missing. It's currently hidden under some other tiles. And so um, we should be aware of that and be mindful of that and try and figure out where, where that is on the board. There are a lot of directional tiles still to be matched. Um, this is the east. Um, I guess they're called the wind tiles. There's There, there are four different tiles um, for each cardinal direction, the north, south, west, and east, and they represent you know the four winds. Um, so I have a couple possible ideas for what I can do. Uh, there's currently only three of these east tiles that are visible. This one, this one, and this one. They're all matchable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and match this one with this one. And the reason is um, that's going to open up two more tiles, um, which might actually be immediately playable. Whereas if I match this, tile and remove it from the board. It's going to uncover another tile, but that tile is going to be buried behind one, two, three, four other tiles, and so I might not be able to do anything with it immediately. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and match those. And the game at this point is tightening up a little bit. Um, you know, we're starting to run a little low on tiles. We're down to our last couple of layers, so we're getting closer to the end. But this is also the point in the game where it's a little more important to um, make the right moves and avoid getting in a situation where you've kind of uh, buried important tiles that you need, like under uh, a, a, under a layer or behind some unmatchable tiles. Uh, you just have to, you don't always, you know, there's a little bit of luck involved because you don't always know exactly like what is the right move to make. But, uh, you know, ideally you just you just need to keep thinking ahead and try to keep keep your options open and make sure that the, the tile pairs that you match are going to expand your possible options instead of restrict them. So with that in mind, what can we do now? Uh, there's a four circle tile. There's a four circle tile. I could match those. 
that would open up this chrysanthemum. Uh, but I don't really have anything to do with that piece at the moment. I'm kind of interested in this five bamboo tile down here. I kind of want to open that up so I can get at this other five bamboo tile so I can get at this eight uh, eight character tile, which you know could be matched with one of these up here. I kind of feel like it's important to get that one uncovered. Um, but that's not the only thing I could do. I still have to think about this um, this three character tile on top. I have some directional tiles that I need to that I need to figure out how to match. And I'm not sure of the exactly best way to do this. Let's see. Tell you what, let's match this four circle with this four circle. This nine circle with this nine circle. that one because that opens up that blue rectangle Let's match this three circle piece right here. Get that one out of the way. And now we have a nine bamboo tile that we could match. see it's opening up a little bit further so another directional pair we can make here and I want to uncover that three character tile so I can match this one on top so I need to match this directional tile with one of its counterparts. Um, question is, which one? Do I want to do this one? This one? Let's see. Sorry, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, what the heck, let's... Uh, do that. So now we can match that three character piece. And we can match the blue rectangle pieces right there. And here. And I'm just kind of getting down to the last few tiles now. Uh, let's see. This four circle piece has its matching pair right in the middle of the board. And that's kind of tough because we've got too many other matches that we need to make to get it uncovered. I'm going to go ahead and match that directional pair.
and that red dragon piece is still kind of uh, kind of a problem because uh, if we I still can't see its matching partner anywhere that one is still covered up somehow and so that might become a problem let's see what else can we match Match that three character piece. Four bamboo. We're kind of running out of uh, possibilities right now. Two character pieces. So here's what happened. We got stuck. We ran out of matchable pairs. Uh, but that's okay because we have the option to click shuffle and we can re-sort the tiles that are still on the board and we'll still have a chance to solve the game. So uh, in this case, and we will have a 60 second penalty added to the time, but that doesn't really matter, right? I mean. Isn't it more fun to just finish the whole game, get that feeling of satisfaction? So let's click Shuffle. Let's see what's changed here. Um, so let's see what's happened here. The red dragon tile has finally been discovered. There's one and there's the other, but it's currently covered up by a couple of other character tiles that need to be matched first. Let's match that pair and that one. Those two directional tiles, this one character tile, that character tile, and now we can get rid of the red dragons. Santhemum tile matches there. And now all of a sudden, we're pretty close to the end, aren't we? So our eight, boom, 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 and we're done. So, that's how you can solve a whole Mahjong game, getting a quick start. Sometimes it's a little bit of luck, sometimes it's a little bit of strategy, sometimes it's a little bit of both. But if you can start by, you know, looking at the top of the stack, getting those top tiles out of the way first, working your way from the top down and from the sides in. You're trying to think ahead, trying not to uh, limit your options, trying not to trap any important pieces. Um, you know, Ideally, if you can get a fast enough start, that'll give you the momentum that you need to carry through. Thank you for listening. Enjoy playing Mahjong on Mahjong.com and uh, stay tuned for more instructional videos from Game House. Thank you.